Hey everybody, I'm Christina. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm doing a tag for you. So, Harry Christmas to you already started and this is the first time I've ever heard of this thing. I know, where have I been? And of course I'm gonna participate, even if I just read one book, because my reading this month's awful. And that's why I haven't done any TBRs or wrap-ups, because just like... No, no, the shame, the shame. But still, I've told you that I wanted to read the books that I haven't read of Harry Potter, so I'm gonna start with The Sorcerer's Stone, because I haven't read that one, and it's the shorter one, so with my reading slump, I think that one would be... that one is gonna be the best for me right now. I'm gonna do the Harry Potter tag for you guys, and I think I'll revise it once I finish all of the books, but I don't know when that's gonna be, so... So here it is, the Harry Potter tag. Let's start. Favorite book, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Favorite movie, Ooh, I think it's gonna be Deathly Hallows part one and two. Though in August I rewatched Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and I think that one could be my favorite as well because that started everything and I love it so much and I remember watching it in the movies and just being like amazed, just like in awe. But Deathly Hallows part one and two because those were great. And also because I read, I remember I read the book the day before the last movie, part two, came out. So when I was reading the book, and half of the book was already had already been made into a movie, I remember I was amazed at how much the book and the movie were alike. Um, so when I watched the second one, and I had just finished the book a couple of hours before I went to the movies, I think the experience was much better for me to have all the details in my mind and not be disappointed because everything was there. Oh my god! Least favorite book? I'm gonna say Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix because I never finished it. It took me a while to get into it and every single time I did, um, I had to reread it because I had forgotten everything about it. So, that was parts of the books and movies that made you cry. I don't remember I read the books a long time ago. I haven't watched the movies in a long time. But what I can tell you is I definitely, definitely cried when Dobby died. And also, since I rewatched Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I can tell you the end scene. I think it's because of the score and also the message and, and also Harry watching his parents and they're just like waving at him. I don't know what it was, but oh my god, I'm getting emotional right now. So those two parts, for sure. If you could hook up with any Harry Potter character, who would it be? Um, when I was reading Harry Potter, my favorite character was, uh, male character was Harry Potter. So, I think him. But now that I've read, um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, I'm gonna say Draco Malfoy. Because Draco. Favorite character? Luna Lovegood. What would your Patronus be? I already took the test. I'm gonna leave a link down below of the video of me taking the test and also I'm gonna put it right here. And what did I get? Go watch the video. Go watch the video. <laughs> if you could have the Resurrection Stone, the Invisibility Cloak, or the Elder Wand, which one would you pick? I think it would be either the Invisibility Cloak or... Um, I think I would pick the Resurrection Stone. I know you can't resurrect the people, but at least you can talk to them. There are some people that I wish I could talk to again, so... I think that one. What house would you be in? What? Hashtag proud Slytherin. If you could meet any member of the cast, who would it be? I think it would be Daniel Radcliffe or Emma Watson. I wish I could meet any of them. Or the late Alan Rickman. I wish I could have met him, but... There you go! I'm gonna use the Resurrection Stone for that. No, I'm kidding. But, um, alive, it would be Daniel Radcliffe. Have you ever played any of the video games? Yes! If you were on the Quidditch team, which position would you play? It's probably Seeker. Were you happy with the ending? Definitely, it was amazing. It's really hard to have good endings, especially when you have this long, extremely long series, but the ending was perfect. I still believe that we didn't need the cursed child. I know a lot of people died, but it was more real that way. Can you imagine if you have a war and nobody died? I mean, the stakes wouldn't be so high and then the book wouldn't be that good, so... Yeah. And finally, how much does Harry Potter mean to you? I can tell you that I've met so many people because of Harry Potter. I've made so many friends because of Harry Potter. And if it weren't for Harry Potter, I would probably be a totally, a totally different person right now because Harry Potter 
taught me so much. It, it shaped what I like now. I can't imagine life without Harry Potter. So yeah, it means a lot. Those are the words I was looking for a lot. And that's it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe or subscribe depending on where you're watching this. And let me know in the comments if you've done this tag. Put the link down below because I want to see it. And also, what is your favorite movie and book? So let me know in the comments if you're participating in Harry Christmas to you. Are you reading a book in particular? Are you reading all of the books? Are you re-watching all the movies? What are you doing for Harry Christmas to you? Thanks for watching, I'm Christina, I make videos every Tuesday, see you later, bye!